You're working to boost your personal brand. You're doing all the things in all the places to get your brand and your content out there, but it's just not converting in a way that you would like. You're falling short of your goals and you can't figure out why. In today's video, we're identifying some reasons you may be falling short on your personal branding goals, and of course, some ways that we can turn the ship around. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne and I am a perpetual goal setter to a fault. Actually, I set goals around my day, my week, my month, my year, and of course my personal brand. And it's been a challenging year because I set some pretty aggressive personal branding goals and I fell short. In fact, I fell embarrassingly short of my goals. It was a tough pill to swallow and it caused me to step back and reflect on why am I falling short of these goals? So I wanted to take you through a similar exercise today. Questions that I asked myself about why I was falling short of my goals, but then again, also creating an action plan so it doesn't happen to me again. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. I'm creating content around personal branding and LinkedIn each week, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Now let's take a look at those nine questions I mentioned that could serve as a measuring stick for how you are performing on your personal branding goals. Here we go. Question number one, were the goals yours to begin with? And especially for those of you that work for a larger organization, Perhaps the goals for your personal brand were set by someone other than yourself, perhaps by your boss or your supervisors or colleagues. But if you don't have the buy-in on the goal, chances are the goal will become even more difficult to achieve because you'd rather focus on your own goals and passions and leaving your branding goals on the corner of your desk. I did do a video recently about how to build your personal brand in the workplace. And if you'd like to get caught up on those tips, you can find the video right here. Question number two, did you schedule enough time to achieve your goals? Life gets in the way, my friend. I totally get it. A lot of goals have to take a back seat to our other priorities. And before you know it, weeks and months have passed and that personal branding goal is still a distant dream. Being intentional and scheduling time in your calendar to move the needle on your goal, it will pay off. Remember, you don't have to achieve the entire goal in one sitting, but rather being intentional about being better even just 1% each day will get you closer and closer to achieving your goal. Question number three, was your goal too audacious too big or too hairy. It's an odd word, but the term was coined by Jim Collins in his book, Built to Last, the big, hairy, audacious goal. And perhaps your personal branding goal was so big and hairy that you weren't sure where to stop. The term bite off more than you can chew could easily be used here to describe your big, hairy, audacious goals. So the goal in and of itself isn't the problem. We just need to ensure we're breaking it down into measurable, achievable, mini goals that we can achieve along the way. Question number four, did you set the wrong goals? I believe there's a fallacy out there that says anything you can set your mind to, you can achieve. But in all honesty, if we don't have the right tools in our toolbox, the right strengths to help us back us up, a lot of those goals are not going to be achievable and in our wheelhouse. I would much rather you set goals that spoke to your strengths and your passions versus unrealistic pipe dreams. Matching your strengths and passions to, to your goals can ensure both success and happiness in pursuit of your goal. Question number five, did you set too many goals? Oh yes, you overachievers, you are my favorite kind of people because you have so many great plans ahead of you. But the problem is there aren't enough hours in the day to tend to your goals, your health, your sleep, 
your family commitments and friendships. If we had more hours, we would achieve everything we wanted to achieve. So now we just need to look at being a bit more realistic with the time we have to achieve not only our personal goals, but our branding goals as well. Question number six, were you trying to do too many things with your goals? Now this sounds a lot like question number five, but hear me out on the differences. Setting goals that cover way too many components of your brand means you're spreading yourself too thin in all of the areas to make any real measurable improvement in one area. For example, trying to increase your following on all social media platforms means you're only improving a little on any one platform. So instead, let's focus on only a few goals per quarter to help see measurable and impactful results. Question number seven, are you spending too much time selling and not enough time providing value? If a lot of your personal branding goals are around those business-led decisions, building that bridge of trust before asking the customer to commit is the first step of the sale. By taking a step back from the sell and stepping into building trust through valuable content and connection, this can help you boost meeting your business-led personal branding goals. Question number eight, did your content connect with your ideal audience? Sometimes we're so busy doing all the things and trying to provide content that we forgot to take a step back and see if this is the content that our customers actually wanted. Are our contributions really solving a pain point or challenge? Or is our content meeting them where they're at? Perhaps they need some things prior to our content in order to cross the bridge over to our content? Or is our timing just off? Trying to sell in an industry that needs other things in place may contribute why you didn't meet your personal branding goals. By taking a step back and re-evaluating our content, we may see some more success with our valuable content. And if you're looking for a quick reset on the three things your brand should always communicate in your content, you can check out those three things right here. And finally, question nine, do you have a support system in place? The personal branding journey can be a really lonely one. So ensure you're surrounding yourself with people who are along a similar journey. It could be colleagues, peers, other people in your industry. They can motivate you and help you along with your goals. And of course, create a little bit of accountability when it comes to meeting your personal branding goals. So how do we get back on the right track in setting and achieving our personal branding goals? Tip number one, set aside time and be intentional. Like anything else you schedule in your life, your brand needs to be one of those priorities. Put some time in your calendar to work on your personal branding goals and stick to it. Make you and your brand a priority and reduce the urge to push the personal branding work to the corner of your desk. Number two, break it down, especially those big, hairy, audacious goals. Let's make them a little bit more manageable and break them down into bite-sized pieces. Breaking the goal into smaller chunks will help you achieve each small chunk on your way to achieving the larger goal. Consider quarterly goals in an effort to achieve a yearly goal, and then maybe even weekly goals to help you achieve those quarterly goals. Tip three, set goals that meet your client where they are at in their journey. Carefully consider what your client needs and wants from you at this time and provide them with that. This helps build trust and gives you permission to take the relationship one step further and so on through to the final sale. And if you're looking for insights on your ideal client, you can check out this Defining Your Ideal Client video that has some tips right up here. Tip number four, focus on only a few goals at a time. Trying to make headway on too many goals may have you spinning your wheels and not getting anywhere. Instead, put some of the goals on the back burner until next quarter, once you have a handle on the more pressing or desirable goals that you have right now. Tip number five, define your strengths and lead with passion. 
by taking a look at all the things that you are good at and that you are passionate about. You can now set a personal branding plan in motion. Don't focus on the things you can't do or don't want to do, but trust in what you do know and can do with the strengths you have, and the rest will work itself out. Tip number six, set aside time for personal development and rest. When you're working on your personal brand, it can be overwhelming all the information that you're consuming. So ensure that you're packing your toolbox with resources to do it effectively and set aside time to learn and rest, which can help make your goals more achievable and enjoyable. And finally, find community around your personal branding goals. And if you're looking for a community of hospitality professionals, you can find community over on my Facebook group where we talk about our personal branding journeys and resources we use to help our personal brands get a boost. Are you going to reset any of your personal branding goals this season? I'd love to know if any of these tips resonated with you or if you found yourself mirrored in some of the questions that we asked about our goals. Let us know in the comments below and let us help you support you in your personal branding journey. And if you're looking for a quick evaluation on where you are in your journey, you can take my personal branding quiz in three short minutes, it'll provide you insights that you need, as well as resources to help you take you to the next level. My friend, my world evolves around my goals. And now that I've done this reset exercise, I am energized and excited to set new personal branding goals for the season ahead. I hope you found some encouragement as well. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.